Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So we have a new update for OnePlus 13 and it's based on OxygenOS 15.0.2. It brings few new add-ons and changes on OnePlus 13. So in this video, we'll talk about every change, what do you get to see with this latest update. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 13 and let me show you the software information first by going to about section. You can see the version it says 15.0.0.831. But after extracting the zip file, this build is based on OxygenOS 15.0.2. It's a similar build running on OnePlus 13s. And now OnePlus 13 also gets first June 2025 security patch. I received an OT update but not directly in the system update section because it was released as release candidate version. That can be found here by tapping on these three dots, select beta update and here you should see in release candidate update available for your OnePlus 13 if you haven't received it yet. The update size was somewhere around 930 MB. And if I show you the change logs, you can see we have changes layer to communication and interconnection, then few changes layer to applications and many changes they have done also layered to system. Now before moving ahead guys, if you find our content useful to you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing. First I'll talk about some of the changes which OnePlus haven't mentioned in the change logs. And by the way guys, the launcher got updated here on this latest build, but it still doesn't have stacked widget option. If you guys want stacked widget on your OnePlus smartphone, you can watch the video which is being displayed on the screen. So the first change what they haven't mentioned in the change logs which is layered to home screen. So here if you go to wallpapers and style section, for example, we'll select this flux theme and if you slide towards the right hand side you can see here under the home screen we only have the options like match lock screen colors wallpaper and style but here on this latest build of oxygen os 15 if i go to wallpapers and style section if i select this and if i go to the home screen section you can see we have a new option called system colors tapping on it now from here you can select the system colors which will be directly applied in the entire ui so for example let's select Two tone and if I tap on apply now the two tone color palette gets applied in the entire UI so you don't have to go different section like you know wallpaper style section then scroll down going to colors it, this can be directly done while applying the flux theme you just have to select that flux theme and go to the home screen section and from bottom side you can select the color options like here we have feature colors and wallpaper based color options also so this is one add-on which they haven't mentioned in the change logs and the second add-on is in the gallery application or you can say photos application now we have a new ai feature which is already there on oneplus 13s so let me show you that ai feature first of all let me select a photo tapping on edit going to ai editor now you can see the new option called ai recompose and guys this ai recompose is working on almost every oneplus smartphone running oxygen os 15 you just need to update the photos application the photos application link can be found in the description below which we have uploaded on our telegram group so let me show you the same feature here on oneplus 13s also going to edit section ai editor you can see we have this similar option on oneplus 13s2 other than that almost everything remains same like ai detail boost ai eraser and ai unblur now let's talk about this feature how does it work tapping on ai recomposition if you're doing it for the first time you need to agree to terms and conditions and now ai will automatically recompose this photo after that you do have some or more options like one is to one and you know three is to four ratio options along with that they have also provided some filters like we have the fresh emerald clear vivid and radiance and here you can see the difference after recomposing and applying a different filter so this is another add-on what oneplus haven't mentioned in the change logs now one by one let's cover the changes there were few changes which even i wasn't able to discover so if you guys have found them let me know in the comment section below so first change if you see which is layer to communication and interconnection which says added a remote control support for pc you can now control your pc and access files remotely with your mobile device and yes guys this feature is now available on oneplus 13s so let me show you here you can see here in the notification it says remote control i've already connected my oneplus 13 with my pc you just need to download the o connect application and later you should have a similar account on your device and your pc will show over here now to access this remote control you can go to the settings connection and sharing and here you can see a new option called remote pc sharing tapping on it here i have my pc and if i tap on it tapping on remote desktop here my pc screen will completely go black if I'm using remote control feature, you can see my entire PC screen is displayed here. I can use the mouse like this is the mouse. You can completely control your PC from here itself. You have a keyboard also quick actions like switch display, switch windows, task manager, lock, send files to PC, restart or power off. And other remote control settings are like, you know, orientation can be turned off. Sound output can be set on your device and on your PC at the same time. You can change the resolution. You also have this private mode so if you tap on it you can see my pc display is completely turned off 
if i disable this my pc display will be again turned on and so at the same time i can use both the screens you can also send files to pc using this send to pc feature tapping on it you just have to select the file currently you can see i am already receiving a file on my pc and in this status bar or you can say live capsule you will see the progress bar but for connection make sure you have installed o connect application and make sure to add the similar account what has been added on your oneplus after that under connection they have improved the cellular network algorithm for smoother network connection this will get to know once we start using the device but i'll keep you guys posted in the in depth review video or a comparison video when i'll compare with oneplus 13s guys let me know with which device you want me to compare oneplus 13s after that under application it says introduce game camera which provides live screenshot and feedback recording to help you capture your epic moment so this feature have been added in the game space application first of all let me launch the bgmi and now if i open the game space application if i scroll down you can see we have a new option called game capture you get the option to enable it once you enable then you have few more options which includes normal screenshot live screenshot screen recording screen recording settings you can change it flashback recording in which we have the maximum duration of 30 seconds so this is how it will appear on the screen so if you get involved in good fight you can just record the 30 second flashback to post it on your social media platform and you have an option to take a screenshot so this is how it looks you won't see screenshot preview once you take a screenshot so this is another add on what oneplus have done after that if you see the next change which says added the mind mapping feature in documents first of all we don't have any document application installed we also tested by installing the document application of oneplus after that it says it allows you to generate mind mapping with one tap and export them to photos or share them So I did try out in all the applications like you know notes we couldn't find this mind mapping feature and along with that we also installed a document application and here also I tried looking for that feature but I wasn't able to find it out but if you guys have found this feature do let me know in the comment section below we personally couldn't find it out after that another change is layer to multimedia in which they say they have added the speaker cleaner feature I think speaker cleaner was previously added I'm not sure about it let me just check in the quick setting tile because on other devices of OnePlus we do have that speaker cleaner quick setting tile here you can see I'm not sure whether it is added now or it was previously available but if you see the change log they say the tool has been added under accessibility and convenience and under accessibility and convenience I don't see that speaker cleaner option I don't know why they have mentioned but it's not present over here you can directly access it from the quick setting tiles Basically what it does is it cleans your speaker if any water or you know dirt is present just tap on it it will open up the phone manager application and you have the option to start to play the sound which will vibrate the speaker to clean out dust and water and this is how it works make sure you set the volume to max after starting it Now moving on to the system changes first change is layer to drag and drop feature that allows you to use the gesture to perform actions on images and text in third party application this can be also found in the accessibility settings so let's go to accessibility if this is by default disabled you can enable from here you can see we have a feature called drag and drop and here are the applications which are supported and it all depends how many applications you have depending on the applications you'll get to know which all applications are supported here for the drag and drop feature but this feature doesn't work this way guys like if i long press on any of the image and then use my different finger to go to the different supported application it doesn't work at all let me tell you how does it work it works in the split screen mode so for example if i open twitter in split view then select another application let's take chrome and from here if i want to pick up any text or image i do have an option to drag and drop for example i selected this text now i can drop it on the other supporting application which is twitter and this is how it works it doesn't work the way i showed you guys before and now with the split mode we do get the background blur previously we had the plain white color while changing the split view size and now you can also search the app name in the settings so yes this wasn't available previously so if you go to settings so for example if i search for any application let's take phone application and now after typing phone if you scroll down you can see we have a dedicated section for applications too it showed up all the applications which consist phone in their name including phone manager phone and clone phone so this is one new add on what they have done in the settings page after that they have improved the floating bar responsiveness of floating windows we'll take an example of calculator so here there is not noticeable change but yes the entire ui do feel smooth it's not only with the floating windows the entire ui is now more responsive and you can see oneplus have also mentioned about the animation when you exit quick setting and the notification drawer for better responsiveness and smooth transition and yes guys you can actually feel the difference once you install this latest build and if you see the exchange which says you can now seamlessly open an app for quick function when the screen is locked so here i'm not sure they're exactly talking about what are they talking about this quick launch feature 
because other than that i don't find anything new here in terms of launching application but if you guys are aware do let me know in the comment section below with the quick launch everything remains same and about the next change also they say when notifications are stacked the latest notification will display a summary showing the number of undisplayed notification and their sources and here you can see both the screenshot the right screenshot was taken before you can see the timing that says 8:23 and towards the left hand side this was a screenshot after rebooting the device which was 8:26 and here i actually did not notice any kind of difference but if i find any change while using the device i'll keep you guys posted about it after that they have improved the color effect of navigation bar and app icons in some scenarios for better consistency this is also i wasn't able to notice any kind of difference after that they have improved the recent task feature which now supports more applications to run in the background so this also we'll get to know once we start using the device because when i was using this device as my primary phone it used to easily handle 10 to 12 applications in the background and later on they have updated the security patch of june so guys these are all the changes what you'll find on oneplus 13 with this latest update of oxygen os 15.0.2 if you guys have any kind of questions related to this update do let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video